28. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From these concentrations given, we just got to calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. So in this case, we have silver chromate, Ag2CrO4, and they tell us that the concentrations of the silver was 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. And I'm assuming that this is the CrO4 concentration. So I'm just going to add that in. Um, and since they did give you the charge here, I'm just going to give you the charge of the chromate ion, which is CrO4 2 minus. So that could have been could have been something mistaken from the book. Anyway, so the chromate ion is 3.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now from there, we just have to find out the KSP. Now remember, a KSP always comes from a balanced equation. We have to take this solid, it was slightly soluble, but it's a solid nonetheless, and dissolve it into its two ions. And they told us what the ions are, so there's no guessing here. So we have Ag2, CrO4, that is the solid, and it's coming to equilibrium because we're dealing with the K value of the two ions, Ag plus CrO4 2 minus. So Ag plus plus CrO4 2 minus. There are charges, so I know that those are aqueous. And now let's just balance the equation. I do see that I have two AGs, so I have to put a two in front of here, but one chromate and one chromate, so we're good. Now let's just list what they told us. They told us that the silver concentration is 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. I just want to make a point here, guys, that there's two in the balanced equation, but this does not mean that you take this number and times it by two. Whatever they told you was the concentration, that's what you have. You, you don't have any more and you don't have any less. So just take it for what it is. And then the chromate ion is a 3.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Okay, cool. Now from here, let's just make our KSP equation. Remember, it just comes from the products raised to the coefficients. So for our case, we have KSP equal to the concentration of the Ag plus times by the CrO4, two minus, and now just raise each to the coefficient. There was a two for the Ag, so I have to take the Ag, and in the formula, just square that number. There was only one chromate, so I could raise this to the first, but I don't have to. Now we're just gonna throw the numbers in, literally throw them. 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth for the silver, and then 3.2 times 10 to the negative third for the chromate. So let's see, KSP equals, we have the two parentheses, 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that's squared, and then times it by 3.2 times 10 to the negative third. Now, we could do this all in one shot, or you could do it, you know, step by step. I'm just going to plug it all in and just get one answer. Let's see if your answer matches mine. So 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, that's squared. And then I'm going to times that by 3.2 times 10 to the negative third. And I get, if we round to two sig figs, uh, I get 9.0. So 9.0 times 10 to the negative twelfth. And that is your final answer. There you go. Okay, what do you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, yeah, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.